What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So for Shiba Inu, I know the last video or one of the last videos that I created talked about how Shiba Inu has flipped. And I think, you know, the flip really comes from the fact that there's no more breeds, they're trying to restructure everything and, you know, uh, change things up a little bit within leadership, within more of the decision-making uh, people, um, or let's just say de decision makers. Um, but there's definitely some interesting information that I saw or heard from DJ Trev's channel. Now, if you guys want to uh, go ahead and subscribe to him, I will provide his links down below. But I want to show you a little bit of a clip from that and give my perspective um, on this. And if you want to check out the whole entire video, feel free to go and check out the whole entire video. Um, it is a 20 minute, 29 minute long video, but it does provide a lot of great information and some great storytelling. So if you guys want to go and check it out, feel free to go and subscribe to him. He's almost at 2000 subscribers and he does a lot of interviews, um, you know, in the Lunix space. And I'm sure he's going to do a lot of interviews across, you know, a lot of other cryptocurrency, um, you know, uh, projects. So anyways, I wanted to talk about uh, Shiba Inu in this video this whole restructuring and just a select piece to it so i'm going to make sure that i show you guys what i'm talking about here i'm going to need to get my my headphones um but i'm i'm definitely um i don't know i'm thrown back by it because it it provides me some some information where i'm like all right well this makes this makes sense but also it doesn't make sense because the defense breed tried to do the same thing to me and i'll explain exactly what we're what we're talking about here so if you guys could make sure you hit the like button the subscribe button the notification bell for more videos like this one also make sure you guys check out some of the links down below it does help out the channel quite a bit and if you guys want to follow me on twitter at perry 8k you can follow me there don't forget about my patreon and discord and all of that stuff um i believe uh uh, Travis also in the discord group as well so if you want to talk to him there directly you can always you know at him or or whatever and you know you can talk to him or I mean he responds to every single comment um on uh his youtube channel so go ahead and you know check it out subscribe he has great content um but yeah let's talk about this so the the portion that we're going to watch we're going to watch this first and then we're going to give my kind of perspective on what happens um I do want to kind of preface you know this whole video uh, by saying that we don't exactly know uh, where they're coming from or who's right and who's wrong. It's kind of like a speculation type of thing. Um, but if you don't know what happened, uh, basically all the breeds were dissolved, right? You saw Shib Queenie that has been um, let go from her position. She's still a part of the community, heavy part of the community, and cares about Shiba Inu in a big way. Probably cares more about Shiba Inu now and the bone that she has and, and all of these other um, investments that she may have. Um, but she cares more about it now and cares about the investment side more than she cares about what she cared about in the past. Um, but you saw people like Trophius gone. You saw Stixel gone, which... Both of those are the people that tried to attack me and, uh, you know, say that I wasn't as transparent. But anyways, we'll get into that. Um, but now we have a conversation between DJ Trev and Shib Queenie to kind of discuss Shiba Inu a little bit. And it wasn't like a verbal uh, communication. I think it was just like messages back and forth. But this this part caught my eye. So let's go ahead and uh, listen to this really quick. And then you'll get my perspective on um or my opinion on where this is coming from or how i feel about it so let me show you guys so again go and subscribe to him almost at 2,000 subscribers anyway so something else that happened which is rather disturbing right uh is she tells me so now that things have progressed um which part of uh shatoshi's strategy is that he has brought back or is bringing back um, some old members of the team. And here's the problem with that, right? These particular members were investigated by the defense breed, right? Um, and uh, they were asked to leave because of what they found out. Now, let me, let me again read this because I don't want to misquote this, right? Uh, they had been previously investigated by the defense team. She says team, and then she puts in parentheses because she hates the word breed, right? Um, she says these people, uh, much worse than Trophius ever was. Um, and they were, once they were, once they were investigated, it was discovered that these people had been insider trading the woofable pairs 
before onboarding them to swap. Um, I mean, I, I don't know if that's criminal or what it is, but it's not cool, right? Uh, so so that's the kind of piece that I wanted to, wanted to point out there, right? Because um, if you think about it, they're bringing back people <clears throat> and it may be getting worse, right? But they're bringing back people that were investigated by the defense breed. And I don't know who that all um, includes. If it is Stixel, if it is uh, Trophius, I know that I was investigated by the defense breed and, and basically said that I wasn't as, or wasn't transparent as all at all. <clears throat> when I am probably the most transparent person in the Shibuya community, releasing all my information, telling people how much I have, what I'm doing with it, how much I'm burning, all these different things I'm very transparent with. <clears throat> but they decided to investigate me and say that, you know, I'm not transparent, but everybody that follows me knows that I am and they are not transparent. Well, <clears throat> they were just recently let go, Trophius and Stixel. Um, and I don't know if they investigated these people that came in and they did the same thing. Um, but um, or they may just have, have said that they were doing this and everybody believed them. Now, <clears throat> um, this is the information that came from the defense breed from their investigation. So I don't know what to make of it, right? Um, I can tell you that if they were doing that, it is something, it's not something that's criminal, but it's something that's frowned upon, you know, where you're insider trading anything and you know what's going to happen. Like if you're, insider trading is not illegal in crypto because anybody that's on the inside obviously is is buying whatever they're buying because they know what could potentially happen, what will be released. Um, so they're given a lot of things. So it's not an issue. <clears throat> insider trading is not, an issue in crypto yet. Um, it's something that you have an issue with with stocks, but it's frowned upon by the community and also by the um, by the the dev team, the the uh, hope the defense breed or team. Um, it's frowned upon by a lot of people, and it's not looked at as good because you're giving up on the position um, as you see any type of gains or any type of movements um, or any type of possibility to gain anything uh for that matter so if they are bringing someone or bringing people back that um have struggled in the past or have been kicked out in the past you got to understand the context on who they were kicked out by um what their motive was to kick them out um if they truly you know were doing this and what is the impact that they were doing this with? Because we want to understand if they're going to be given bone and then they're going to collapse bone. Are they going to be given, you know, Shiba Inu, even though nobody really owns Shiba Inu or controls Shiba Inu, um, the largest amount being traded on Binance or something like that. So nobody can really collapse it right now. And nobody uh, within the Shiba Inu dev team holds a hell of a lot of Shiba Inu. So you're never going to see that collapse. <clears throat> but it's definitely something that's very, very interesting to say, um, who are these people? Um, what was their motive in the past? Um, were they truly, um, you know, insider trading in a way? And also, does Ship Queenie have anything? Uh, like, is she saying this just because, you know, she's not a part of the team anymore? I, I would imagine not. I feel like she still has a community. She still has the level that she, the same level that she was at before. She's just not being paid anything, even though I don't even think they were being paid much to do what they were doing. I know treat was supposed to be a bigger thing. And now that treat, now that the breeds are, are gone, right? What is treats? Um, where is treat supposed to be, you know, giving these, you know, rewards to and everything, right? Or the breeds not getting it. Now these new devs that come in are, are getting it. I don't know, but it's definitely interesting. Again, if you want to go subscribe to DJ Trev's channel, um, the link will be down in the description. Uh, the original video will be down in the description. He's almost at 2000 subscribers, uh, help him get there. And, you know, he has a lot of good information, um, on those videos. So definitely go ahead and watch the whole 29 minute video or even listen to it because there's definitely some good storytelling, some good information, um, within it, but I'm going to get out of here guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.